Hello and welcome to this video. In this video I will be showing you how to set up the Ewe Link app. You will be able to control your son of smart devices from anywhere. This video is from a series where I will show you how to use some products to easily automate your home. In this case I will be showing you how to install and set up the Ewe Link app to control your smart devices. I will leave some links down below in the description to some of the products. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click that bell to receive a notification when a new video arrives. And if you like the video don't forget to click that like button. This will help the channel to make more videos. Thank you. The Ewe Link app is available for iOS and Android devices. You can also link your app to Alexa and Google Assistant. Let's start by seeing what will be covered by this video. I will start explaining what is the Ewe Link app. Where to get it. How to install it. How to connect the app to a device. How to navigate in the app. How to update a device firmware. How to schedule device actions. How to create timers. How to create loop timers. How to check and change device settings. Create scenes. Thank you for watching. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click that bell to receive a notification when a new video arrives. And if you like the video don't forget to click that like button. This will help the channel to make more videos. The Ewe Link app is used to control smart devices of several brands, like wall switches, lights, sensors, sockets, LEDs, cameras, and many more. In this video we will be using Sun Off devices. The app is available for iOS devices and Android devices for free. You can also control your devices from your PC or Mac with Ewe Link Web, but you will have to pay a small annual fee to upgrade to the advanced plan. I'll be using an iOS device but the installation is very similar in an Android device. Go to the App Store and search for Ewe Link App. Click Install it will be a fast installation. Click open. Click allow if you want to receive notifications from the Ewe Link app. Read and agree with the terms of use and privacy policy. Now in the login page click in the create new account link. If you already have an account jump the steps. Select your country from the combo box and click next. Enter your email. Click the verification code button. You will receive a verification code in your email. Check your inbox. Insert the code you have received. You have one minute to do it. Insert a password you want to use. Confirm the password. Click return. Your new account is created. Now let's add your new smart switch to the app. Click the add button. 
Click Quick Pairing. Click Add One Device. Choose your Wi-Fi network, you can only choose a 2.4 GHz network, 5 GHz networks do not work. Insert your Wi-Fi network password. Go near to your smart switch and press the button for about 7 seconds until the network LED on top starts blinking faster. Click OK to allow, to find, and connect devices to your network. Wait for the device to be found. The app will be retrieving the device information, registering it and then connecting it to the network. This may take a few seconds. Now you have the screen with the default name of the device, change it to something that will identify where it is used for. I will change it to office. Click done. The device can take a while to connect to the network but normally it is instantaneous. Great. It is all set up, now let's try it. Click on the switch button on your phone screen. The switch button screen will open. Click the button. The switch on the phone will turn on. The light will turn on and the light indicator in the smart switch will turn on. Click the button again. The switch on the phone will turn off, the light will turn off and the light indicator in the smart switch will turn off. Notice that the screen has an alert that there is a firmware update for this smart switch, let's do it because it is important to keep the firmware updated, it can correct bugs and give new features. Click the three dots on the right top of the screen to access the device settings. Click where it says current version. It will open the firmware update screen. Click update now. Click confirm. The update will start. You can check the progress of the update if you press back to the switch button screen. On top you can see the progress percentage. Usually this update won't take very long, just a few seconds. Do not power off the device during the update. Update done. Congratulations. It's all set up. Now let's see how you can schedule a device action. Select the device you want to create a scheduled action. Press the schedule button in the lower right side of the screen. Press the add button. In this screen you can define at what time you want the action to run and if it will run only once or if it will be repeated. I'll press repeat. Select the days in which you want to run the action, I'll choose every day and press save. Back in the schedule main screen press add action. Select if you want the device to turn on or off, I'll choose off and press save. Finally press save. We've scheduled to turn off the office light at 8 pm. This scheduled action is enabled but you can disable it in the button at the right of the schedule. Now let's look at the timer function. Select the device you want to create a timer. Press the lower middle timer button. Press the add button. Select the time interval you want the timer to trigger. I'll choose 5 minutes. Now select action. Choose if you want to turn on or off the device. I'll choose on. Press save. Your timer is created. In 5 minutes the office light will turn on. After that the timer will disable itself. If you want to run it again you will have to enable it. Now let's see the loop timer function. The difference of this timer is that will loop itself and will not be disabled automatically like the regular timer. 
Press the loop timer button in the lower right of the screen. The first thing you have got to do, is choose the loop method, repeat, or alternate. In repeat mode it will run one action in the defined interval. In alternate it will run two actions. You define the interval for the first action and then the interval for the next action. I'll choose alternate. And I'll choose that the device will turn on after 30 minutes and the it will turn off after another 30 minutes. Don't forget to press save in each action you choose. Press from, to choose the date and time you want to start running the loop timer. Don't forget to enable and save it. In this case imagine you want to turn on a fan after 30 minutes, let it work for 30 minutes and then turn it off. In the home screen you have a few options how you want to see your devices. You can change the way you see your device in the screen. You can see them like this, in tiles or you can see them in a list mode. For that you just have to press the list button that is at the left of the three dots. In this view you have direct access to devices with more than one switch. You can get back to the tile mode by pressing the four squares button at the top. You can choose if you want to see all the devices or the devices in a certain room, like the living room or the bedroom, I'll show you later how you can assign a device to a room. Now let's see how to check and change the device settings. Press the three dots on top right of the screen. In the settings screen the first section is the basic info and the first thing you have is the name of the device, in this case office, you can update it by pressing on the name, change it and save. Below you can see the firmware version, for this device is installed the latest version since we updated earlier. In the shortcut section you can assign the device to a certain location, press the assign location option. Select the room you want assign the device to, I will assign it to other. Press save. The device is now assigned to the room you chose. Another option is share. You can share the control of devices with other people, for instance with your family so they can control the devices from their phones. For that they have to create an account too. You can only be logged with an account on one phone or tablet. You cannot use the same account in two phones or tablets at the same time. Press share. Press share with eWe link user. Select the country and enter the email of the account you want to share with. You can share more than one device by pressing the select more devices option then choose the devices you want to share. Press save, in this case sharing failed because I entered an email that is not a valid eWe link account. You can also group devices. Just select the devices you want to group and press save, give it a name. Now that group will appear as a device in the home screen and when you turn it on or off it will control all the devices in that group. The LAN control option will allow you to keep controlling your devices inside your network even if there is a problem to access the cloud server. If you set the push notification button to on, you will receive a notification every time the device changes status. In the logs option you can see the date and time that the device changed status and who triggered it. You can turn on and off the network indicator in the device. This is very useful, especially in bedrooms. The power on state is used to define the options if there is a power failure and then when the power returns what will happen, you can set it on, off, or the last state. In inching settings you can define after how long you want a device to stay on after you turned it on. 
Enable inching and then define the time you want the device to stay on. I'm going to set it to 4 seconds. Press save. Now every time I turn on the office light it will automatically turn off after 4 seconds. At the bottom of the screen you have the device information. You also have the delete button if you want to remove the device from the app. Now let's see how to create a scene. Press the scene button at the bottom of the screen. This will open the scene screen. Press the add button. To create a scene you will have to define what will trigger in certain action. You define what will trigger in the if section. And what the action will be in the then section. Press the add button in the if section. You have four types of triggers in the scenes. Tap to perform, that means you will have tap to trigger the action that you will define. Time of day, you'll have to define at what time of day you want the action to happen. You can set it to sunset or sunrise. And smart device, means that an action in a certain device can trigger an action on other device or devices. For instance you can have a motion sensor that will turn on a light. I'll choose this last option smart device I'll choose the living room switch and the channel 1 when it's turned on press save now let's define what will be the action press the add button in the then section You have two options. Smart device and delay. I'll define a small delay before I make the actual action. I'll set it to one minute. Press save. Now press the blue plus button in the then section. I'll select smart device to select the device I want. I'll choose office and I want it to turn off. Press save. So, what this scene will do is, when I turn on the living room light it will wait one minute and then it will turn off the office light. Now we have to define in which period we want this to happen. By default it will run every time you trigger it. But we can define a time period in the effective period section. Press effective period. I'll leave it to run every day but only from 8 p.m. until 6 p.m. Select the start time. Press save. Select the end time. Press save. Press save. Give the scene a name and press save. I'll call it office turn off. And that's it. So now every time I turn on the living room light the office light will be turned off a minute later. I hope this video helped you to know some of the main features of the Ewe Link app. Thank you for watching. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click that bell to receive a notification when a new video arrives. And if you like the video don't forget to click that like button. This will help the channel to make more videos. Thank you and see you in the next video.